The 47 by 45 meters infectious waste incinerator building is located within the Municipal Solid Waste Disposal Center in Supanburi. The inside of the building has a usable area of 100 square meters and two sets of incinerators that can each process up to 150 kilograms of waste per hour. On the side of the incinerator building is a 40 square meter infectious waste storage room that can hold 84 waste bins or 3,000 kilograms of waste and features a separate area to disinfect the bins. The back of the building has two fuel storage rooms and one gas storage room. Flue gas that has been treated to meet the standards set by the Ministry of Natural Resources and Environment is emitted through the flue gas tax. Emissions are continuously monitored and measurements are displayed in front of the incinerator building. On top of the building is an emergency stack that opens during emergencies and will rapidly cool off the incinerator to prevent damage to the equipment. This emergency stack remains closed in normal operation. The building houses two sets of dioxin-free incinerators. Each incinerator consists of a rotary kiln chamber and a smoke incinerator chamber, operating at a controlled temperature of at least 760 degrees Celsius and 1000 degrees Celsius respectively. The waste feeder weighs the waste and feeds them into the rotary kiln chamber. The gas, after passing through the smoke incinerator, is sent to the cyclone dust collector to collect any coarse dust before entering the boiler. The temperature of the gas at the outlet is kept below 300 degrees Celsius. The gas then flows through the acid reducer and is sprayed with carbon powder. Any remaining fine dust is collected by the ceramic filter, and dioxins are eliminated by passing through a specialized filter bag. The clean gas is sucked through the suction blower and sent to the gas stack. Emissions are monitored by the Continuous Emission Monitoring System, or SEMS, and the measurements displayed in front of the building. The ash that exits the rear of the rotary kiln is transferred by a conveyor belt to the ash bin to be properly disposed of. The heat generated from the boiler can be used for other purposes.